Hello Past Damien, it's currently the 30th of January 2022 and we're wearing the exact same shirt so that's a good start I guess. So tomorrow is Chinese New Year Eve and it's with the whole Chinese New Year festive season that comes with spring cleaning. So that entails a bunch of looking through old things and seeing which ones to keep and which ones to throw away. Oh gosh. You have to forgive me, it's been a long time since I've done something like this and my mind and life has been occupied with a lot of unrelated things. So past Damien, I have some... I have some bad news to tell you and it begins with the things that you say in your video. First of all, that exercise has not been a constant unfortunately as much as it would have been nice. It's been more of a constant for you as a cadet obviously because of the entire OCS training program but for your friends from secondary school, not so much. And speaking of which, all of them have already OR'd and are currently in university doing a bunch of different stuff and unfortunately not being as free as they used to be. That nervous breakdown that you had at the end of Exercise Wolf, it's not going to be your last. But perhaps some good news for a change, yes you are a platoon commander in the 8th Battalion Singapore Infantry Regiment. I'm... Uh, I think I'm out of good news. Um, look, there hasn't been a greater change between two versions of ourselves one year apart now than ever before. Like there are a lot of things that you know, OCS is currently teaching you and you will learn. Um, but ironically, one of the things that I feel like it doesn't teach either enough or at all is how to put your foot down and lead people who are not your peers, who are not always going to be interested in doing the right thing or showing up in the first place. And so when it comes to commissioning in about four months time from when you are, um, you're going to have to learn more things, perhaps even more valuable things in unit than you are right now that you would never have learned anywhere else before you'll be picking up an entirely new set of skills and traits and possibly sacrificing some of your existing personality in the process because that's just how it is look it's no secret that our troopers the people of our age who i'm in charge of and you'll be taking over Eventually, some of them have already dug up who we are, or at least who we used to be. Our current platoon sergeant bless his soul, watched a few older videos of ours and he was like, yes, that right there, that man, is the man I salute. You know, I look back on the past through the videos that we have made and I feel like I've lost a lot of what made me, me. I've become more hardened and more firm and more intolerable. But at the same time, I look back on our past self and wonder, how the hell is this guy gonna survive being an officer? And perhaps the answer is that maybe he didn't survive after all. This boy, and this boy. Hold on, this is the real juicy part, you see this? Oh, it looks so smooth. Oh, you can't tell for jack shit because you're not even in 60 FPS, but 10 more mice on the screen at once. Oh, this is amazing. Christopher Bingham, or Bing, the person who created Past Bing, Future Bing, if you didn't already know, he started a 2022 edition of PBFB. He cancelled it after a few months due to personal difficulties and hardships, which obviously 
he wasn't able to disclose. You know, life has only gotten more complicated, not just for him, but for us as well. And I feel like I no longer want to document my life in the same way that I did, at least right now. Shut the f up. Now that's a total PC moment right there, just doing your own thing and on a weekend and getting a message and having to reply to it. That's probably one of the things that I'm going to cover eventually and <sighs> you're gonna wish you were still a cadet six months from now. Yes, there are still occasional moments where I will try to capture something remembering that hey, I have a project to do that I want to document things that are interesting. What time is it now? I don't know, I don't know. It's now. You might be able to see it from here. But more often than not, a lot of things just go by quietly without anything tangible to show for it except like an event in my calendar. I can feel it. And if you were to ask me what I have in store for the next few weeks, then I have to tell you the honest truth, which is I have no idea at all. Do I look more tired? She have a comparison of eye bags. It's been a running trend since a long time ago. Can I just say something? One of the things that I actually appreciate a lot in as a trainee, um, or even, yeah, before that, was seven hours of uninterrupted rest. It's so important. Like, I never felt less tired in my entire life than when I was having a consistent seven hours of rest. And now that there is no longer that enforcement, um, you can stay up however late that you want, and... Uh, you are left to suffer the consequences. So if I were ever a stay out personnel, which I'm not, but if I ever was going home every day and staying up until 2 a.m. in the morning, then um, I would just destroy my life like that. I'm going to be teaching the university lecturer. <laughs> and then before I know it, on social media, someone's going to post a, a video of me looking down. <laughs> like, a, like somebody looking down a sni sniper sight like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all thanks to me. Yes. You're welcome.